Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video, I'm going to show the fabrication of this front fender. It's used to contain all the shrapnel if any tire explodes. Um, and keep any debris off of uh, myself and any other electronics hidden behind it. I'm going to go over some of the fabrication methods. My good friend Cal Greenhall came out to help me make sure I did this correctly and uh, made it look good. So thanks so much. Thanks for following along. Uh, enjoy the video. Man, that's like almost horrible. We're not tracing the straight line, then we're tracing, we're transferring that crooked line onto this piece. So we should put it under and trim that one pretty much. I saw, and I also just looked directly at the arc, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> After narrowing the fender, I started with a bigger fender and we narrowed it up, split it, uh, everything else. I ended up heating up a piece of round bar here and rounded it over to match the fender and welded it in front. The whole thing is that this fender needs to cover uh, approximately 120 degrees of the wheel. Um, it has to mount to the swing arm so that it can pivot without any stress and it also needs to clear this front, this fork tube on the side. So I notched the side there. Um, I also used those hammered forged pieces from a steel tube to be my kind of eyelets on the outside that I mount to the front, mount on the, on the swing arm here. Um, the back is just simply hammered out and flared to match the, the radius on the rear of the swing arm. We put little brackets on the back of here with a M6 uh, welded nuts on the back side so you can get to everything. So that's that with the fender. Um, I think it looks pretty slick. It's definitely very sturdy. Um, Next up, I'm going to move to the battery construction, uh, wire up the whole entire bike, and hopefully get this thing rolling down the road. So thanks so much for following along. Really appreciate all your support and likes. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thank you.